Brothers and sisters in the Lord, sometimes in our Christian walk, we have insecurities, or the devil tries to get into our mind telling us that God doesn't love us, or we're probably going to hell, so we better just give up anyways. And we have this condemnation that comes, and we're not even sure necessarily where. The truth of the matter is, we are given a conscience. And in our conscience that God has given us, we know good from evil, right from wrong. And if we live according to our conscience that God has given us, and if we do well, we will 100% be accepted by him. But if we live the opposite from our conscience and we do what is evil, then we will be condemned and our sin will take us to hell. It's plain and simple. So we shouldn't let the devil accuse us saying that there might be something in us that's sinful that we don't even know about. God's going to send us to hell probably. We shouldn't let those kind of insecurities arise because we can know that if we do well, we will be accepted. I want to read what God said um, to Cain before he murdered his brother Abel in Genesis chapter 4. So the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry and why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door, and its desire is for you. But you should rule over it. That is the key. If we put our flesh in submission, if we rule over it, if we put our anger aside, our lusts aside, if we do well, we will be accepted by God 100%. He loves you. He cares for you but he wants you to overcome. And if we overcome and choose what is right, we will be accepted. So don't let the devil accuse you or condemn you. Don't be condemned in your own heart, thinking that you're just going to go to hell no matter what. You can overcome in the name of Jesus if you want to, because he is there for you, for your soul. He cares for your soul and he is on your side. He wants you to overcome. God does not want to send anyone to hell or to condemn anyone. But if you choose darkness and evil and sin over the truth of God, then that will condemn you and that will bring you to hell. So choose righteousness. Choose the love of God. Choose to do what is, um, choose to do what is right and the Lord will accept you. May the grace of Jesus be with you.